Hi everyone, this is Deekshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I'm going to discuss about local execute provisioner. Local execute provisioner is basically used to run local commands. So in which machine you're going to execute Terraform commands. So let's say uh, you're creating an EC2 machine and after creation of that EC2 machine, you want to store the public IP or a private IP or an instance ID in some local file. So in that scenario, you can use this um, local execute provisioner or else like let's say you have some kind of a shell scripting which accepts uh, instance id and also which accepts some um, uh, public ip and a private ip of uh, your ec2 instance and that script will be executed and the data will be stored in database so that in that scenario also you can use local execute provisioner so basically it is used to run uh, local commands where you're executing ter executing terraform commands so to explain this, I have taken a simple example, so which is already there in my Terraform repository. I'll leave this link in the description. In this repository, I have a folder called as provisioner. So in this, uh, uh, the file folder name is local provisioner. In this, I have only one file. So to just to keep very simple, I'm just creating a uh, AWS EC2 instance and I'm taking the private IP and a public IP and I'm placing it in uh, one of the text file okay so that these things I've already cloned onto my machine uh, before that let me go through uh, this Terraform script once so provider AWS I've just specified uh, region and I'm creating an AWS instance EC2 instance and I'm just naming this block uh, as web and uh, the in AMI is um, the AMI ID. So, and the instance type is T2 micro and the tag is test file provisioner. Sorry, uh, so this, this is better, like I'll change it to local execute provisioner. Local execute provisioner. And then if you see here, so I've used provisioner local execute and uh, with a command, uh, argument so this is a command argument and if you if you see here i'm just echoing it and placing it in uh, some text file okay and also if you see if you observe here i'm used as something called a self so self is a keyword or uh, you can consider it as an object wherein um, whatever uh, you are creating with uh, this block uh, with aws instance all the attributes will be available under this particular keyword or an object so now once the AWS instance is created, all this like attributes like private IP, instance ID, public IP, there are a couple of things. You can refer a Terraform uh, documentation for that. So all those attributes, so will be available with this one. So when you, when you are executing local EXEC with this self keyword, so you can access the attributes of this particular AWS instance here. So if you want to do it like um, uh, outside this block, so for example, see, I've just commented this one. You can use this uh, resource, null resource. If you don't know what null resource is, so if you want to execute, so these kind of provisions like file provisioner, uh, local execute provisioner, or remote execute provisioner. So then you can go ahead and you can use this. Okay, and also, uh, so you can use this, make use of this, and you can uh, use the interpolation, the AWS instance and the logical name is web, and then uh, private IP. Out this is attribute once the EC2 is created. So all these things, you can use it, okay? And uh, now here, I've used self because I'm executing in the same block. So once, uh, so this is done, so what you can do is, uh, you can go ahead and you can run on your missions. So let me commit these changes. I'll pull those changes here as well. So let me go inside that. Terraform and let me go inside provisioners folder. Inside this, there is something called as local provisioner. Here, okay, there is already a file. So let me delete that private underscore and underscore public dot txt. So I'm deleting that. Now if you see I don't have that file. And let me do git pull. Let me clear the screen. And now what I'll do is, I'll do Terraform in it. And once this is done, so what I'll execute is, 
era a forma play. iPhone auto approve. So once I execute this, so as you can see here, it is creating a AWS instance. We can see in AWS console as well. So let me refresh it. As you can see, one mission is coming up with the tag name, as you can see. So we have just renamed the tag as local e execute provisional, right? It is creating, it will take a couple of seconds. And also in the logs, you can see uh, it is trying to create and which has taken already 30 seconds. And also once that is done, as you can see this particular local execute. So it is executing bin sh iphone c, the command is echo the pub. This is the private IP. As you can see from Terraform script, the first one is private IP. So let's verify it like whether the private IP is correct or not. 172.31.53.63. So private IP is, let me verify it. Okay, I'm into, I have just selected other mission, not this one. And as you can see, 172.31.53.63. And the public IP is 100.25.47.119. And also I should be able to see the same key here. Yeah. So now uh, when I do cat on that, so as you can see, this is uh, what local execute will do. If you want to execute any local commands once the resource is created, so then you can use uh, this kind of like local execute provisional and you can ex execute your commands. So that's it for this video. If you have liked the video, please uh, do subscribe and thank you. Thanks for watching.